2022 Bassmaster Opens, 12 spots, three divisions, one goal. Qualifying for the Bassmaster Elite Series through the Bassmaster Opens is one of the hardest things to accomplish in tournament bass fishing. Two years ago, I set out on this journey to chase my dream of fishing the Bassmaster Elite Series. We're now entering year three, and looking back on the past two years, I've faced many close calls of achieving the ultimate goal. But in order to be one of the best of the best in the world, close isn't good enough. This year is going to be focused on consistency and overcoming the variables that comes with each tournament. What's up everyone? We have made it to Ross Barnett. We got in late last night and uh, it's I think Wednesday right now so we got plenty of time for the tournament the tournament doesn't start till next Thursday but of course we uh, we got here early it just didn't make any sense to go from Virginia all the way back home to Minnesota to turn around and come right back down here so we uh, we decided to come right down we're gonna take a few days we're gonna get everything kind of rigged and ready and dialed in and you know like we usually do we went to the got in late last night we went to the grocery store got all that stuff done went and fueled everything up and now we uh, just get to sit around. We're actually staying at a super nice campground here. It's called uh, Sunset Marina at 43. I don't know if you guys can see, we got the water right there. We got a private boat ramp here. Um, this is actually the bridge. If you guys are familiar with Ross Barnett, uh, this is the, uh, the main bridge up the lake, right? Kind of at the, at the mouth of the river. So we got a super nice setup here. Uh, this campground's all concrete and black top. So, you know, we're, uh, Excited, excited for this week. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I haven't been to Ross Barnett uh, since 2015. It was actually my first Bassmaster Open as a co-angler and I uh, got a check here. So hopefully we can keep that check streak alive. Uh, looking forward to get out there. We'll keep you guys tuned and uh, get, get a few things done here at the campground. What's up guys practice is wrapped here it's Wednesday um, I actually didn't even go out today typically I go out every Wednesday for the half day but I didn't go out this week um, you know I know where I'm gonna fish I got a really good game plan and I got only you know three or four areas that I really think that there's quite a few fish in there and I'm sure there'll be boats in there but you know I'm gonna stick with my game plan and that's really all I got you know I, I think I can run around and just really pick these this uh, grass apart and you know get some bites you know I, there's a lot of guys going into it but you know I feel like a lot of guys are moving too fast just from what I've noticed in practice and you know I'm, I'm flipping every every few inches and I'm, I'm just being real methodical and and letting my bait soak you know that's what I think a lot of these fish are on the bed still and you know I've I've had multiple times in practice where I've flipped in there and didn't have anything flip in there again still didn't have anything and I flip in there a third time and one will start running off with it so I think it's just you know presenting your bait to them long enough for them to get a good look at it and you know just get annoyed with it enough and, and eat it so that's what we're gonna go do tomorrow uh, we're gonna get some rods rigged up I'm only gonna have a few rods on the deck I'm gonna have you know some flipping bait and probably a swim jig something I can cover some water with and maybe a frog or something like that um, can't see them coming up blowing out but you know overall practice was pretty good uh, got some bites it, definitely seemed to be easier earlier in the week when before there was a lot of boats here uh, this lake is pretty small I think it's just under 30,000 acres but it's fishing super small right now the water is real dirty um, you know I guess they got a bunch of rain here a couple weeks ago got that water real muddy 
and you know a lot of these fish are, are up shallow and congregated shallow and everybody's kind of finding them but you just gotta help fish people in those areas that you're at so we're gonna get some rods rigged up here we're gonna go get uh go to registration get get checked in and um you know we're gonna try to get to bed early and get up and go go hammer them good morning guys we're just about to take off um, we'll go 179 this morning uh, we're gonna run up the lake He's gonna go. Was. Oh, it's all day. Go. Good job. Thank you.
Fire Lake, Minnesota. Come on up, Joel. Boater side, four fish to get you started today. Day number one of this Central Open, eight pounds even. Going to have you in 88 spot right now, Joel. Good job and good luck. Well, day one is wrapped. Um, had four fish for eight pounds. Not what I was expecting. Pretty disappointed, actually really disappointed in the day. Um, you know, missed opportunities, broke one, one big one off. As you guys saw, hopefully I got it on film, but broke one off and just, I don't know, I must've just had a bad spot in the line, didn't check it enough and uh, broke that fish off and it, you know, it jumped like four times by the, by the boat trying to spit the hook. But you know, it's just, that's my bad, it's my error. Um, you learn from your mistakes, but you know, I had a couple other ones that just, you know, they set the hook and they were on and they just come off. So that's part of it. But you know, it's that fifth fish puts me probably somewhere in the top 40 or for sure top 50 probably top 40 uh to get that fifth one you know even if it was a three and a half pounder that i lost but it's part of it um i think tomorrow we're gonna just go swing um you know my fish that i had found in practice i was feeling real good but i, I had a feeling that bite was going away i found a lot of them on the bed blind fishing um the beds up in the reeds and i think those fish are just going away that either that or the pressure got to him I don't really know but I just never did get the bites today that that I was getting in practice and I should have made an adjustment earlier but we're gonna go adjust tomorrow we need to put a big bag together to get back in this thing and get some good points so that's what I'm gonna do I think that's where the fish are going that's definitely their next their next step um, you know post spawn to go out to those small shell bars those you know the stump fields and that kind of stuff so we're gonna go look for it tomorrow if we have to go up and try to get a few bites in the reeds again we're going to just to save face and get a few fish stay tuned we'll talk to you guys in the morning good morning guys day two morning up we're boat number 47 today uh, like i said i think we're gonna switch it up we're gonna start offshore and uh, hit some pad fields i got some some stumps and some uh, shell bars and just just some random stuff out there so we're gonna go fishing hopefully we can get a few like that and kind of dial something in but if that doesn't work we're gonna go save face we're gonna go up to the reeds and uh, make sure we get some fish and and get some points and get out of here but uh got a great co-angler today jim and he's uh he's fishing all kinds of tournaments this year what did you say 37 tournaments you're fishing 33 tournaments he's fishing this year as a co-angler so he's, he's a busy guy but looking for a good day on the water and uh stay tuned we'll keep you guys close kind right there. Yeah. That is the way we want to get this day started. It's still spawning.
you got him. You thought you didn't have him. That's a big fish. That's it. That's it. He was running so fast at the boat that it just got slack after I set it. Yeah, I saw you. I missed him. Oh no, he's still there. <laughs> I said it and he He's ran right at the I boat. He was. It's still a good fish. Whew. Well, that was a debacle, but we got number three. All day. All right. Four. Uh, can't believe they're not hitting that little damn lizard. They will. Try to put the front on the face. There you go. Number five. Five. Fourteen. I think he is. We got a limit finally. Yeah. It is 11:45. Got a limit, so now we can go. Probably gonna go offshore here in a little bit. We're gonna fish through this grass, try to get a big one, and probably go offshore and try to find a couple, couple real big bites. Messed up on my on my other one. Yeah. All right. That'll call. That'll definitely call. You need a hook fume? No, I got tons of them. This is fine. I just got used to it. I think. There you go again. Teaching me how to do it, I guess. We're doing the same for the sink. <laughs> You're getting, getting on. Nice meeting you. I hope you have a really good career. Uh, this, maybe this probably be gonna be my last year. Dude.
Joel Willert. Come on up. Eight even to start Joel's tournament out. Boater side. We got five today. It looks like, well, a much better day today. Yeah, it really wasn't much of a better day. I, it was about the same as yesterday. I just put him in the boat today. So Five fish were 16 pounds even all the way up to eighth place. Let's hold those up. Good job. Two-day total of 24 pounds even. So, yeah, putting them in the boat. Work 16 even today. Good job. It's going to hopefully be a check-saving kind of day, Joel. And uh, we'll see. But thank you. Good job. Well, day two is wrapped. Uh, had a really good day today. Caught 16 pounds even. And moved up a whole bunch of spots. And we finished up in uh, 26th. So, just uh, got one of these. Just looking at this check here. But... Super happy with how today went, and uh, pretty pretty bummed about yesterday. You know, if I would have got one of those one of those big bites in, I'd probably be fishing tomorrow. But you know, it's part of it. Um, you're not gonna catch every one that bites, unfortunately, and it's part of the game. But super happy to uh, get the first central out of the way with a good finish, and just keep the ball rolling. So we're gonna we're gonna head home uh, for the next couple months, and we got one uh, tournament up in the Sturgeon Bay for the Sturgeon Bay Open, and then we got a month off gonna be up at Malax doing some guiding and then we head out to Lake Oneida in the beginning of July so appreciate you guys following along super happy with how this tournament went and you know just making the right decision that's what it's all about is you know I, I knew what I wanted to do and just made the right decisions went to their spots at the right time and got some fortunate bites you know there's a lot of a lot of pressure out here and uh, just you know that was one of my biggest game plans going in is try to figure out, you know, where there wasn't going to be as much pressure, where I'd get the bites, and then try to time it perfect uh, to be in spots where somebody isn't. So everything worked out great this week. Super blessed with, uh, with the finish, and we're headed out of here, and we'll see you guys in the next one. I swear to God that it might just be the death of me. Just count the reasons why I'm crazy, yeah, it's stressing me. I'm burning pictures of myself like it could